The first phase of stage four adds the engraved base plate supplied with issue 28. Using a two millimeter Allen key, unscrew the M4G grub screw from the central column support and put it aside. Slide the central column support off the base of the central column, ensuring the 19 millimeter steel bearing stays in position. Push the central column support up through the central hole in the engraved base plate, ensuring the engraved details are on the top. Fix the central column support using three M3A Allen key screws. Tighten them with a 2.5 mm Allen key. The year counter cover plate fits into the rectangular hole in the engraved base plate. Note that this cover plate is not fixed, so it's best to put it aside until the base unit is fully assembled. The second phase of stage 4 adds the engraved drum supplied with issues 29 and 30. Now stand the two drum sections on a firm flat surface ensuring their engravings are upright. Interlock the flanges to make a complete ring. Lift the assembled model with its engraved base plate and stand it on the assembled drum. The top of the drum should engage into the channel around the outer underside of the base plate. Note that the two drum sections join at Scorpius. The vertical divider line at the end of Scorpius on the top row of symbols must align with 22nd of November on the engraved base plate above. Stage 4 is now complete. Before starting stage 5, we recommend that you lift the earth arm assembly from the large engraved top plate and put this aside. You can then work on the underside of the engraved plate more easily.